everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the new release of the Kimimoto electric refrigerator. This is uh, brand new from Kimimoto. This particular unit is the Pro 8. Um, it's very intuitive to operate and it actually works really great. It has a lithium ion battery inside that can be charged using either an AC charger or it can be run using 12 volts from your 12 volt source, like your car. It only draws three amps, so it's not gonna uh, overload your system in your car. So let's, let's uh, review some of the features. So first, let's go over the user interface, of which there are two. Um, it's, it's pretty intuitive. You have it on off switch. You have plus and minus temperature controls. As you can see, I have it set for 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it, the unit seems to be pretty accurate as far as keeping temperatures. Do a quick measurement here inside. 17 degrees at the top, which is where most of the cooling is done. 28 degrees at the bottom. Uh, there are two interfaces for this. There is the interface that I've showed you there. And there is a, an application that is run off Bluetooth. So this works wherever you're at. Um, the application is really simple to work. It's telling you the current temperature right now is 24 degrees. That's the setting. There is an on off here. And, uh, you know, temperature control from minus four up to 68 degrees. And I have had this set to minus four before, and it does, in fact, cool it that low. So there's two operating modes. There's Eco, which uh, reduces the draw on the unit's battery. And there's Max, which, as I'm plugged in right now, would be what you'd want to use if you're going to cool it down before you take it out for use. And that gets it cool uh, quickly. Uh, there's also low, medium, and high battery cutoffs and for each mode. And what, these, what this does is this protects your vehicle's battery uh, from this discharging it. Although my vehicle's battery is disconnected uh, with the ignition. But I guess just in case you have a live unit, this uh, low, medium, and high, they're cutoff voltages. So when the battery of your vehicle discharges to... Uh, for example, on the high protection setting, 11.1 volts, and then each one uh, is progressively lower. I think the lowest is about 9 volts, which you would never want to discharge your vehicle battery that low. So uh, pretty, pretty functional unit, pretty great uh, interface. Everything you do from the app, you can also do from the interface on the front of the unit here. There is a lockout protection uh, for this. If you don't want anybody messing with the front of this, you can just have uh, uh, use the lock right there and that will lock out this interface so it doesn't get bumped or somebody doesn't adjust it or whatever. As you can see right now, my unit has a fully charged battery. It's 12.4 volts. Uh, one other feature of this unit is uh, you can use the battery from the cooler here to charge your phone, which is already at 100%, or uh, for whatever else you would use USB for. As I'm recording this in August, uh, which is like our hottest month here in the West, uh, it's been so hot I haven't taken my, my rig out camping because it's just Im impossible to camp in that kind of weather. But I have been able to experiment with this uh, shopping which has turned out to be a really practical use for it uh, so this unit uh, will run about 10 hours if you have it set for a setting above freezing and the lower you go the more battery it's going to use obviously so uh, my experience has been it will last all day pretty much even in the higher temperatures here uh, I did take it shopping and it turned out to be a, a really great use unit for that. Looking inside the unit, there is a ice bottle that uh, you can freeze beforehand, fill this with water, and it just 
helps add to the insulating value of the cooler. The cooler itself, this Pro 8 model is an eight liter unit. It's not huge, but uh, for two people, a couple sandwiches and some drinks, uh, it's the perfect size for uh, taking four wheeling. So this is a fairly stout unit. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's not something that you're gonna carry backpacking with you. Uh, it weighs in, uh, the PRO8 model weighs in right at 20 pounds. So today I'm shopping and it's about 100 degrees outside. So I brought my Kimimoto cooler and as you can see, it's sitting at three degrees and it really is cold inside. And I am going to put my cold products inside. And so there it is. I've got, gosh, just a ton of cheese and pepperoni. We're having a pizza party. So what a great product. I'm not even using the iced thing for it, but what a great product for keeping stuff cold. I live probably uh, an hour from town. So at 100 degrees, it's even more inside the cab right now. This is a great thing to have with you when you go grocery shopping.